learn, they'll always hate me for my tone, for the shade of my skin, and not the courage of my bones, now I'm misunderstood, now I'm feeling like Nina Simone, Black Queen, you're immaculate, it's coming out the world, they ain't ready for your magic yet, and that was never your fault, man, I guess they couldn't hack it yet, world domination, and you ain't even taking off your jacket yet, so effortlessly Hey SBR Nation, so welcome back to another video. If this is the first time here, welcome. My name is Raina Robinson and I am your SBR Queen. And SBR stands for Styled by Rowena, if you don't know. Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how I did this full glam. And yeah, we'll be going from a bare face to the final product. So that means all the steps are included. There is no step skip. If you are new here, please press that subscribe button. So you see that red button down below? Click it. When it turns gray and it says subscribe, then you have subscribed. Please also turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss any videos that I post. Because they better be good. My videos are lit, yeah? Remember also to include hashtag SBR Nation in your comment section to get a chance to be shouted out in my next video. Follow me on instagram at my personal page which is rowena underscore robinson they were coming up on the screen and styled underscore by rowena also follow my apparel page that's my clothing page at styled underscore by underscore rowena apparel all right and make sure that you will become an official member of the sbr nation so if you're following all of my three pages plus i have a main channel rowena robinson if you subscribe to that as well honey honey we, we're basically family if you've done all that trust me we're family because they don't get no closer than that <laughs> all right so i hope you enjoy this video um and thank you so much for even clicking on here i hope you stay i hope you love my personality and i love you guys too so let's jump into the video maybelline baby skin for you right sir i have already um washed my face moisturized and all that Right, so I'm just putting on some lip moisturizer. Here's brow pencil. This is dark brown. I also have a an eyebrow tutorial up, guys, so you can go check that out to see how I will. How I do my eyebrows. I will be releasing an updated eyebrow tutorial soon. Of course, it will be beginner friendly, so stay tuned for that. Just make sure that you fill in all the spaces in between your eyebrows. When you use a spoolie brush, just to brush it out a bit. So that it looks more natural and then I'm going back in with a PS brow powder you don't have to do this step I'm just doing this because I want to mix them together and sometimes when the pencil um, leaves space the powder fills in that space to give you that extra full look I'm going in now with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. This is always what I go in with. And I'm going just underneath my brows to clean up any excess product from my eyebrows fill in. And whatever you do to one eyebrow, guys, you do it to the next one. Going on top as well with the same shade form. As you can see, it's not much lighter than me. So it won't leave a halo effect above my eyebrows. And this is an angled brush. I will also be releasing a video um, where we discuss brushes because I got asked that on Instagram. 
make sure that you guys actually go follow me on instagram rain underscore robinson so you can tell me what you guys would like to see more of but yeah um someone had asked me on instagram so i'll be doing a video where i talk about brushes makeup brushes and of course that would be beginner friendly as well so i am just going in now with the concealer to cover my dark marks or any hyperpigmentations that you know i might have and stuff like that i'm also going to use my sponge my beauty blender and i'm going to apply some powder on that concealer i do that because i realized that if i do that before i do the foundation and stuff it makes my foundation more flawless and it makes it look like i'm glowing from within so instead of highlighting after my foundation i highlight before it i use that tape now on my eye lids there because i'm gonna put up my eyeshadow and i wanted a clean crisp end to the eyeshadow on the outer eye so that's why i'm doing that now I'm going in with the orange and from that wild love palette it's a burnt orange i'm gonna then go in with a makeup revolution palette i'm taking that bright yellow and i'm gonna do it to the inner corner of my eyelids because i'm doing a two-toned um eyeshadow look but then i'm gonna cut crease as well so on the inner bit yellow and on the outer bit orange if you realize i'm using the same brush i literally just flip the brushes so one side that has the orange one side has the yellow and i'm making sure that those are those two are blended properly i'm going back in with the wild love and i'm taking the same burnt orange just to brighten up that orange on the end again feel free to do this guys to make your makeup pop and stuff like if there are any imperfections that you want to fix like you can always do it as i said that tape there will help to stop it stop the eyeshadow from going over anywhere else and make it clean and nice I'm now cutting my crease and I'm using my same concealer. I find fawn very really easy to use and as I say it does the job. And this is a drugstore makeup so it is actually really affordable. So with the cut crease I'm going just where my eyelid creases naturally. I'm going above that because if you go below it then it will mess up the eye. Um, look when you close your eye or you, or you blink and stuff like that so always go just above where your eyelid creases naturally and then when that is done i'm gonna go in back with some powder just to set it so that it's not still wet all right so now that i've set that um cut crease i'm gonna go in with this lilac on the outer edge of the cut crease just on the outer end as i said whatever you do to one eye you do to the next okay and after this now i'm gonna go in with this bronze gold glitter and it went perfectly with this so i'm doing a sweeping motion just because i find the glitter comes off better like this of course i'm doing it to the other eyelid as well Uh, and then I'm going in with my liquid eyeliner and just making sure that this eye look is coming together. I'm holding the tape because I don't want the liquid eyeliner to go under where that is because when I take the tape off I want it to be sharp, you know? 
and I'm going to make sure that they're both aligned together and take the tape off. When I take the tape off, you realize that it gives a more cleaner look. On that side, the eyeliner had gone under it, so I'm just using my concealer, same shade in Fawn, LA Girl Pro Concealer, to clean that up a bit. And I'm using my finger to just blend the concealer out a bit. And I'm going to do the same to that side as well. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my Mary Kay foundation in the shade bronze 3. And I'm using a flat end um, makeup a foundation brush. But in the middle of this, I'm going to switch to my Rimmel London foundation. It's in Mocha 503, I believe. And I'm going in with this. And as you can see, I'm using a dabbing motion rather than a sweeping motion. Because the dabbing motion allows you to ensure the product is pressed into your skin rather than wiping the product all over. And you just want to make sure that you get this all over if i'm looking down guys i have been looking in my mirror so that's why so as you guys should know if you're not new here i always go in after this with my sleek contour makeup palette and it's a dark um palette that i have and just contour under my cheeks and above my forehead i'm gonna go in now with some setting powder so that you know that wet foundation sets a bit then a bit of reverse contour where i use the powder on there where they contour is but not too much again i'm prepping my eyelids now with my mascara ready for my eyelashes i'm using my maxi blush from rimmel london as well And I'm going to do in that next um, matte setting spray just so I can reduce the powdery effect or the powdery look on my face. I've already applied my dual lash glue to the eyelashes and I am now putting them on. That's one on already and I'm going to do the second one now. With this, the trick is to make the glue dry until it's sticky so that when it goes on your eye, then it has grip. So it doesn't, it's not watery, it's not runny. I'm going in with my next um, pencil. I'm going in with the shade white to put on my lower waterline because I like that look with this gives the eye a more pop just going over back with that brush to you know set everything down you guys should know this lip combo is my favorite I'm using the jumbo lip crayon in the shade plum I'm going in with this pink gloss and she give it a nice ombre look 
sorry officer, I only sell hooks, leave me alone. Every low end I took and held it close to home. Live and you learn, they'll always take me for my tone for the shade of my skin and not the courage of my bones. Now I'm misunderstood and I'm feeling that need some more. There we go. Alright, after this, I'm gonna go in with my glow getter setting palette and I'm mixing two shades that rose gold plus that bright gold. And I'm mixing them to get that nice shade as you can see. I'm going in with some clear lip gloss just to put on top of that lip combo that we had there. And I'm going to take some of my highlight and put just on the, just on my cupid's bow. And right there. I'm just applying more highlights because I love my highlights being extra bright. And I put some on my nose as well. And that is it completed. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I hope it was pretty simple for you to follow. Um, and I pray that like, you know, you stay here, man. I just enjoy my video. Leave your comments down below. Remember, leave them comments down below. Remember also to include hashtag SBR Nation in your comments so that you may get a chance to be shouted out in my next video. Speaking of shout outs, I also need to give a shout out for anyone who included hashtag SBR Nation in my last video. And if you haven't watched my last video yet, go check it out. Go check it out, sis, sir, whoever, go check it out, okay? All right, so let me bring it up. So, today's post notification shout out goes to Shakira Exclusive. Shakira Exclusive, big up yourself. Yeah, you did comment hashtag SBR Nation. You were the only one who listened to me and included hashtag SBR Nation. So that means you get to have a week by yourself, girl. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you for listening. Thank you for doing the do, girl. Thank you for including hashtag SBR Nation in your comments. Also, you, she also commented, guys, that this is a cute look. Can't wait to get as good as you. And honey, Trust me, this is probably practice. It's, you will realize before time that it's really not hard at all to do. But thank you again. And remember, guys, if you want a chance to be shouted out, include hashtag SBR Nation in your comments. I see that you guys are commenting and I love you for it. But if you want a chance for me to say your name on camera like this, this is a big up this, this, this then you don't know, include hashtag SBR Nation in the comments. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Make sure that you go binge watch my videos. Make sure that you also check out my main channel. There you get to know me, my personality and all that. And um, what else? Follow me on all my socials, Rowena underscore Robinson. When you follow me on Instagram, you will see all my other business pages linked. The two of them, my clothing page and my makeup page. So make sure that you go follow it, keep up to date, and we see you in another video. Our burdens are heavy, but we ain't lightweights. Our parents were legends, they had to migrate. So that's the reason not to sit around and chat. I'm from the place where Mac would have to made a smash hit. Where you can be a rapper if you rap sit. The screaming what a flipping time to be a black brick. We so alive. Whole world on our demise, but no, we ride. Try to push us all to the side, we know our rats. Now we get the whole of the